So digging in now, Rob Second. And this is a good looking Very matchup basement. for him here. As Rob. you can see, he's Seconded. hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. The 0 1 on its way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised that he's after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Rob Segedin becomes the first Elvis out of the inning. Andrews. Elvis Andrews is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. That's, That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Here it comes now to Andrews. Misses with a curveball that made him move his feet. Here's the 2 1 now to Andrus. And the changeup is way low that time. Ready on 3 and 1. Here's the pitch. On the ground near home. That winds up foul for the second strike. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. Carlos Gomez is at the plate now. And he's quickly behind 0-1. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner. And he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Well, now's when he gets nasty. He's oh, And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Here's the catcher now Chris Iannetta and a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Swung right over the splitter there 0 and 1. Grounded back up the middle Andrus fields it cleanly and a rather easy first out. And with now that, let's take a moment to show you what's happening hitter. in the American League's Ramon Western Division. Herrera. Striding in once again, Ramon Herrera. First pitch of the at bat. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming in and then it just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. Center well, we've always known this guy was a good hitter. You knew he was going to come out of it eventually. Here's another multi-hit game. It's not one hit that gets you out of it, but the multi-hit game. Maybe this is the signs of things to come. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chad Hutton. And now they've got him in a rundown. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Swing and a little tapper. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Royals bats are quiet there. 
through three complete, all tied one apiece. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. He starts off the, the inning Ranger. against a guy who struck the out right the side last third. inning. How do they get to Nomar. him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. The next 0 2. Squared that one up just a little late. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Struck yeah. him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Digging in for his second at bat. Rudnan okay. Odor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Now the 0-1. A called strike over the outside corner. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. How about him? Third baseman. Stepping Joey up to the plate, Gallo. Joey Gallo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, and my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. Matt Vaskers, and here is Eric Hosmer gets ready to start things out. Osmer. Line drive to left. Point has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Third baseman number eight. Mike. The third baseman Ooh, Mike Mustakis now. He hit a sack fly earlier. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Gallo trying to get there. And no one will get this one. The windup and the 0 1. And this is fouled straight back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. The 1 and 2 pitch. Right side and right into the shift. Fielded by a door. Throw gets him two down. The right fielder, number 12. Jorge. In is Jorge Soler. Soler. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three. Fifth inning coming up. Ready for another chance? Devin Bernal. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Devin Bernal. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. That's an interesting pitch right there. Uh, let's see if that throws him off a little bit. He's been on a pretty good roll. He can't let it upset him. Just get back in the groove right here. That was a pretty good pitch on a pitch he doesn't throw very often, or I should say, hasn't used in this game, that's for sure. That was a good pitch. Well, that fooled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. And he's going to start this inning out the same way he started the previous two. Seven consecutive strikeouts. My word. One away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. 
Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. The 0 2 once more. Ball. And a curveball that time that broke One too ball, low. Well, I don't know if that was a great take or he was just flat out full because that curveball was really close. What a, a swing and a high drive to right center field. Hutton looking up. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Solo shot to right center. Home run number 15 for him thus far. And the Rangers move ahead. It's now two to one. Yeah, and as we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. In is the catcher Jonathan oh, Lucroy. As yes, he'll take a look at a curveball that drops Lucroy. in there on the outer half. It's strike one. 0 for one for him here in this one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Again, a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Went up and out of the zone that time, but he gets a piece of it, and he'll see another pitch. Tell you what, that was a nice swing after the sequence, falling a fastball to get a changeup, and he foul it off. Pretty good approach. Played on the backhand. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting. First baseman. And that'll bring in Rob Segadin. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there, 0 and 1. Two runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rangers. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And here's Soler to make the grab, and that will end the inning. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. Middle of the night from Kauffman Stadium, it's now 2-1 to one, Texas.